One of the things we worry about a lot is discrimination in the labour market. A BBC study out today found that people with Muslim sounding names were three times less likely to get a call back after a job application than people with traditionally British sounding names. There's two reasons why this could be. One is that firms are simply racist. They don't want to hire talent of certain types, despite what it could contribute to their firm. Another is called statistical discrimination. Let me explain. In these sorts of CV studies, they send out resumes with an amount of information on them and a name, and they look at if there are different response rates to different sorts of names. Now, what we typically find is that when there's relatively little information on the CV, there's a gap between native sounding names and names sounding like they come from immigrant groups. When there's a lot of information on the CV, that gap goes away. For example, in a German study, Turkish sounding names were much less likely to receive a callback unless both the Turkish and German sounding names had a letter of recommendation. In another example in France, when they anonymized all CVs, the amount of offers going to foreign sounding names actually fell. Now, from this study as it is, we cannot conclude whether it's racism or whether it's this sort of statistical discrimination that would go away with extra information. However, we can take heart. If it is racism, we would expect the firm to lose money and go out of business. Imagine a football team that refused to hire South Americans. Year after year, they would do worse than their competitors until they were relegated consistently or until they changed their wrong-headed policy. It's the same for firms and talent. The reason why the City of London is much more diverse than the country as a whole is that big firms don't care where people come from. All they care is whether they can make them money.